So obviously we launched this product only like a little over a month ago. Mm-hmm. And I think we've sold 50 of them now. And so there's like 20 installed and we're just like, people are just still getting out. It's been snowing. People haven't been able to get outside. Yeah. Uh, but I expect, you know, that the network is going to grow pretty fast. So for yeah. me, I have a couple around me, basically anywhere I go in South San Francisco is uh, covered. So, but I'm going to do some more range testing and see like, Hey, what happens if I go out to 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers, and yeah. start comparing this this data. And, you know, I'm really curious about that. I don't think anyone's really, I don't see many people out there actually showing real data testing this stuff. So, yeah. And, you know, some of that stuff also depends on the terrain. So, we're going to get, if you're in Western Australia, which I think there's maybe a rock base there already, um, you're going to get a lot more distance than you do in Denver because you don't have a mountain range in between you. Look at that. There you go. So, let me see. Aircraft entered altitude zone. It's my bedroom. So I just clicked on the little dot, dot, dot button there at the top. Oh. Uh-huh. And then scroll down. Well, you can say click the R2K button right there. Uh huh. And then you scroll down that, and you can see I selected this custom R2K network. Yeah. And then you can see there's the entry post, port, user, password, mount point. And so that's Easy. all. That's it. Enter that in, and it connected, and uh, boom. So, like, even people that don't have a huge background in surveying or anything like that, like, it's not a big deal to take your Mavic, get a rock base, and get it RTK accurate within five minutes. No, it's very easy. And I'd say, I'd say the other thing that I was like really just conceptually thinking about is like because what we're doing with the rock base, like, so we, we collect data for like almost a week uh, in order to get a very, very precise point for that location. Because we did that, you don't have to worry about doing that on every single job, right? Because right. usually, like, you have to establish, like, you know, really, I mean, yes, you can, people will still do this, but I'm technically speaking, like, we collected data for a week. We ran it through Opus and, and Arcan for the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. Like, so that it's the same thing you would do. We're just doing it statically for 24 hours and getting a very accurate point. And then everything's based off of that accurate point, right? Right. So instead of like always needing to go on site and do that two hours, four hour Opus solution, well, now you can just use this one because we did it for 24 hours. Yeah. I mean, you think about multiplying that out, especially I like to think of everything at scale. Like mm-hmm. imagine a small scale, even. like you got six people, maybe, maybe not even all of them are drone people, but you got a firm where you're collecting data in one way or the other. If it's two hours a day across half of those people, across three people, so six collective hours a day, across your full-time equivalents. I mean, how quick does that add up to like an entire person that you hired is just doing this? Really, when you do the hours, it's like oh, yeah. you either, you know, give yourself that extra manpower without doing anything other than going and hooking something up on the roof. Like it's a game changer. Yeah, yeah, totally. So I mean, the price that we're selling this at, I think it's something that's, there's nothing comes close to the 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 price you know of the rock base for what it does you know yeah 